What's up, YouTube? It's me again, JWA Joie. And today I'm gonna be talking about my trip to Jamaica, okay? So, first off, go ahead, like my video, or subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure y'all comment below and let me know what y'all would like to see from me next. Check out my custom-made Jamaica, Jamaica shirt. I got this from Jamaica. I can't remember what part of Jamaica I was in. Rook Ramsey. My mom hit me up and told me that we were going on a cruise, and this is my very first time going on a cruise. Never been on one, always wanted to go on one, so I was super duper psyched. First off, let's just get into the fact that we almost missed the cruise ship. Let's just get right into it. My mom, we're in the Uber, and the lady, she was Spanish. We, we met up in Miami. We got there, and the Uber lady didn't speak no English. How you gonna be Ubering, 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 Ubering? How you gonna be Ubering English people, Americans, and don't know how to speak one little speak of English? I'm not even gonna get into that, because we was in Miami, so I was probably in her neck of the woods. She made us late for our uh, cruise ship. Wait, what was I talking about again? So we got in the Uber. She's speaking no English. So my mom was telling her like, we need to get to the port, Miami port. Like, she like, uh, I thought I was speaking no English. I'm like, bro, we're gonna be late. We're not gonna make it. I knew this was too good to be true. Like, there's no way. So we probably had to be there at like four o'clock, 3.30. We got there at like 3.26 on the dot. If that's the time that we had to be there, that's how close we were to almost missing our boat. They trying to check us and make sure that we don't have nothing on us. We get there, my mama can't find her passport. We couldn't find her passport. So literally she started dumping all her stuff out on the floor in the middle of the um, um cruise ship lobby or whatever. People like, y'all need to hurry up or y'all about to, the, the, the gates are about to close. Y'all about to miss this shit. So we like, oh my God, I start, I'm about to panic. My mama already panicking. But I'm about to start panicking because I'm like, dang, I had my stuff together and she don't. Like, dang. When you rushing, you your adrenaline is rushing so much to you're not really thinking. So with her being so so flustered and thinking that we're about to miss this boat, she really overlooked the, the, the passport. So I literally look at her, all her stuff on the floor, and I look and I'm like, okay, let me just help her. So I go in there, blah, blah, blah find the passport literally two seconds after that they're like we closing it we closing it so the people were really nice because they could have they could have really left us we run on the port run on the port run on the port run on the port we get on the boat we're so happy we knew it was meant to be because we finally found it at the last minute like we ready to enjoy ourselves this time because we went through all of that the first thing they do is they had this like big meeting with everybody so we get on there they divide us into groups and they let us know where the emergency exits are and they let us know all the important information. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that um, we rode with Carnival, Carnival Cruise. So we got um, into our separate little groups or whatever and I was with my mom, but a lot of people were like coupled up. A lot of people were with their girlfriend or boyfriend and I just felt out of place. I wanted to be there, you know, with my boo. But I didn't have a boo at the time. Like I said, it was a lot of couple stuff going on. So a lot of people was planning on what they were going to do. They were talking to us, trying to figure out when we was going to link up again. And we like, baby, we just not going to hang out with y'all. So when you're on the ship, you really don't realize that it's moving. You really don't. Until probably when you, you know, go on the deck and you see it or when you go sleep. But when you're on that ship, it feels like it's just staying still. Like you don't know that you're literally halfway across the world at this point. So the very first day... Like I said, they introduced everybody. You didn't really have to be into it with other people. You could have been on there and just vibing by yourself. But if you wanted to, you could go to the group of activities that they had. So we did. And um, we got on the pool on the deck of the ship. So there was two pools on there, a jacuzzi, um, slides, they had bars, the food. On a cruise ship, you can eat all day. Oh, Day, all night. Oh, every freaking piece of food on this bowl was blessing. Everything. When I tell you, your money is worth it. It's worth it. Because, baby, we had an unlimited burger bar. I just seen a post about it 
um recently so everybody already know the burgers on that joint be busting okay then they have this thing where you can go to the back and they have like a buffet and that's just simple foods that everybody sees on a buffet buffet and then at night um at a specific time you would eat with the captain they call it the captain's dinner and that's where you had to dress up and put on real nice like dressing gowns you cannot go in there with your um uh pajama pants or swimsuit on you cannot go in there with that and then the thing about it is they call it the captain's dinner but the captain don't be nowhere to be found he ain't nothing with us i ain't seen him nowhere but i had this really cute dress on and i just felt like a princess and we went down there and ate bougie food i don't know why i made that face when i said bougie but it was it was real skimp like they gave you a limited amount of everything down there like it was steak that's my first time having filet mignon they had salmon you get three entrees the i think it was the appetizer the main entree and the dessert and they come out in sections captain's dinner you sit in a group of people that you're assigned to and for those days that you're on the ship those are the people that you're going to sit with if you choose to go to the captain's dinner so every time you came to the captain's dinner that's where you sat with those people every time i don't know why it's like that Throughout the days on the ship, you can do whatever you want. You can go to the game room. You can play with uh, in the pool, the casino. They have um, a dance room. I didn't get really. I didn't get to really do a lot. Cause I was with my mama, and um, yeah, I was already twenty-one, but she didn't let me drink. Um, there is a choice where you can pay for Wi-Fi. But don't get it twisted. Just because you pay for that Wi-Fi does not mean that you're about to get the best service on this boat. Because even still, you're still leaving the States. You are not about to have no A1 at t service, okay? No. So, it took us about a day and a half to actually get to Jamaica. Um, Like I said, you don't really realize that the boat is moving until you see it. And you go out on the deck and you look out in the window and you're like, oh my god, I don't see any land. Like for a while. For a while that's the kind of scary part it's like usually if you're on a boat you'll see like some buildings or some land or some trees or something don't get discouraged um at a movie night where we watch movies all night they had the dance room where you could actually go to the club down there you could eat all day like i said it was 24 hours um food buffets um and room service so you could eat all you want literally you're gonna gain about 30 45 pounds on that cruise ship because they feed you to the death for you, like forever. So finally, when you get to your destination, whether you're going to Jamaica, the Bahamas, Hawaii, whoever, once you get there, they have to put you through this like um, long process of figuring out how many people there are on the boat and that are gonna come off because not everybody wants to get off their boat. Well, I don't know why, but when you get there, they're like literally putting us in teams to split us up to get out of this boat, to get off of the boat. When me and my mom got there, I don't know why, but we split up from everybody else. We were waiting on the trolley to come get us to go to our um to go to our tour. Tell me why when you get to Jamaica, the time change. So when we get there, everybody's splitting up, going off into their different ventures and stuff, and we sitting there waiting because we thinking like that ain't ours. We ain't going to that. We going to this one. We waiting on our driver. He already done came. He already done came. It was like 2.20 in America. It was like 1.20 up in here, in Jamaica. So we think, you know, we got plenty of time because it ain't even two yet. You know what I'm saying? But it's already... Wait, hold on. Did I say that right? No, hold on. For that. While we thinking it's one something on our phones, it's really two. It's already two. So we missed it. We missed it. So my mom starts going off. Wait, y'all done left on the phone, right? So the people are like, oh, no, no worries, ma'am. We'll help you. You know, like, we'll, we'll get you together. We'll get you another driver. But she wasn't trying to hear that shit. She was not trying to hear that. Uh, I was trying to calm her down. She done got mad at me. I finally get us a tour guide. So we get to the beach. We on the beach. We get on the beach, and they start feeding us curry chicken and jerk chicken. And, ooh, when I tell you, this was some real Jamaican food. Don't even play with them. Don't even, they is not one of them. Do not play with them. That food is so fucking good. When I tell you we was on that beach eating real dill curry chicken. And when I tell you I didn't taste not one piece of bone. Everything was, ooh. It, it was a good feeling them out, but I wanted more. Like, after they fed us on the beach, somebody came up to us and was like, 
I'm like, what you said? He's like, oh, you want to buy some tree? You want to buy some weed? I'm like, my mother is right here. How much it is? <laughs> Baby, I want to buy it so bad. We in Jamaica. What the hell are y'all talking about? We in Jamaica. Let me see what that about. I felt like they were trying to set us up because they knew we were tourists. And they knew that we wanted to like try it out and see what it was about. But in real life, y'all, Jamaica, weed is not legal, okay? Weed is not legal in Jamaica. You are able to smoke it, yes, in the privacy of your own home. Yes, if they see you with weed and you grow it there, yes, you can have it. But you can't just be walking around Jamaica smoking weed. Like, at least that's what they told us. Like, that is not true. People think, oh, I'm gonna go to Jamaica and smoke weed, blah, blah, blah. No, like... They hiding it there too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they have it there naturally, but... Well, after that, they took us to a gift shop. And mind you, all of us had on bathing suits and stuff. So our tour guide was like, hey, make sure y'all be careful and stay with y'all group because these men out here are very dangerous and they will rape you. And we were like, damn, he just went straight to the point. He told us straight up and down. Like, don't think y'all, because y'all are from the states that y'all's gonna be coming over here looking cute in your blood. Stay close with your people. And I did. The Jamaican man was all over me. The thing about it is I, I had red hair in that day too for that trip. And it was like red, red. They love this red hair. Me too. Real deal, like telling us to be careful as if though we, like we on the trip, we we tourists. We can't even walk, you know, in, on the streets and see what it's really about. He like, nah, y'all can't do that. Y'all need to stay in this trunk, this van before you get left. So I did as I was told. We only had a certain amount of hours to be off of the boat. So you had to do what you needed to do before this boat was to depart. If you did not have all your activities done, your ass was getting left because it was a certain amount of time that you had to be back at the port to get back on this boat. And a lot of people did not know that. I don't know how they got them back, but that we was ready for. We knew the time had changed, so we knew we was gonna be on time. We had learned our lesson, so. After you get back on the boat that first day, they take you to another part of the island. So the very first part, I wanna say we went to Cayman Island. Yeah, that we went to next. Uh, Montego Bay. Big luxurious buildings. They had shopping plazas, malls. They had like different outlets out there, like real expensive stuff too, like liquor stores. Jamaica's really got money, like buku money. If you ever decide to go on a trip to Jamaica or anywhere on a cruise, period, do that because it's a life-changing experience. When I tell you, I don't even know if I would ever have done it, um, especially with this corona going around. I don't know if I would have ever gone on a cruise by myself if my mom hadn't took me that one time. Like, it was amazing. When I tell you, do it. Do it, okay? It's late. Now, when you do get back on the boat, they're going to check you. When you get back on the boat, they're going to check you and make sure that you're not bringing nothing back from the island. Um, that includes liquor, marijuana, anything. They're checking you from top to, to, to toe. Like, you're going to get checked. And if you buy liquor, they're going to take your liquor, put your name on it, and store it in the storage room. And you can't get your liquor until you get off the boat. That's the downfall. So you can buy liquor on the boat with day, day liquor. But you can't buy your own liquor and try to have a little... Nah. Your white Hennessy, you keeping that thing in the umps, in the safe, baby. They keeping that for you. Hey, okay, don't go to the casino because you're going to lose all your money. Like, that shit is rigged. I lost $20 and I left. That's enough for me. I don't need no signs letting me know that I need to stop. If you don't know what you're doing, just get out of there. And that's just gambling, period. Say, so you can do whatever you want on the boat. You can have fun. Like, you can party. You can drink. I'm pretty sure somebody's going to ask me this. Um, Did I get seasick? I got a little bit of sick that night once I started looking out the window, but they got pills and stuff on there that they can give you that makes you feel a little bit better. So just don't look out the window. Oh, I got this outfit from one of the um, vendors that was outside trying to sell stuff. It was like $20. Also, I want to give a shout out to my bae Jess for doing my nails. Everybody been asking me about them. I'll, um, I'll leave her information in the description box down below. And make sure y'all like my video, subscribe, and comment if y'all haven't already. And I thank y'all for watching. I love y'all.